Carr likes to throw to his running backs and tight ends a lot. How much do you guys have to be aware of that? Oh, no question. They uh, they got a lot of targets. Um, you know, Waller. You know, I was with him and he in Baltimore. I mean, I know his talent. And the running backs are really good. Not only good runners, they're really all of them good out of the backfield catching the ball. I mean, they got speed at wide receiver, but probably more than any team we've faced all year. You know, the tight end and the. Uh, Backs is it's probably the first time all year I think we face somebody that maybe those two groups were the leading receivers over over the receivers. So uh, we obviously they're uh, they're a concern. Back in Baltimore, used to use well Waller. He was a receiver, but he would sometimes go to tight end for scout team. What what kind of stood out to to you when watching him? You know, give you those looks. Big, fast, good hands. I mean, that's what he is. I mean, you throw the ball up to him, he's got great hands can run. I mean, he is fast, and uh, you do not want to think of him as any kind of just a lumbering tight end. He's far from that. I mean, he's a receiver at uh, Georgia Tech. I think, I think it was Georgia Tech, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The only thing is at Georgia Tech, most of their wide receivers wore neck rolls because they don't they didn't exactly throw the ball a whole lot. <laughs> so, but that's why when we got him, we thought, you know, he's probably going to end up being a tight end eventually, and which is that it's exactly what he is. Is it interesting how he's drawn so much attention? I mean, you see linebackers going against him, you see safeties, corners. Is that unique that, as you've seen with, uh, against him? Well, I just think he's just such a talented guy. I mean, he's, uh, there's guys that are, he's really, really also improved his run blocking uh, because basically he really kind of was coming in originally into the league, I think, thinking as a receiver, a big receiver. And, uh, but I mean, he's uh, uh, you know, he's he's a lot like Graham, you know. I kind of think a little bit, kind of like him. I mean, you know, Graham always wanted to get paid as a wide receiver, or though, even though he was a tight end. I think that's this guy. I mean, he he can play both. They can flex him out, and he's yeah. just like having another receiver in the game. So, um, I mean, he's a big concern. Well, the first impression is we already kind of knew a little bit about him. You know about most of the guys in the league, especially the guys that are starters. Um, you know, and I always thought he's a, a really good defensive back and had good quickness, good coverage skills. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing is with him is just we'll, we'll find out what he, by the end of the week, what we really feel comfortable uh, with and what he feels comfortable with and try to stay within that realm if we can. We, we'd like to do as much as we can, but we also, you know, we've talked about it before, you don't really want to put guys in positions where it's really hard for them. Um, been through it before, uh, went through it, especially one time at, at Baltimore, um, we took a guy and had to start him against the team he just came from. That's tough. Now you kind of know they know a little bit about the guy. So, um, but he's, you know, he, he's a he's a pro. He's in there studying hard, trying to get ready for the game, and we'll do as much as we can within what he can do. With a dude like Casey, how much he gets the quarterback is it a product of scheme versus how much of it is him just beating the guy in front of him? Oh, I well, you know, I'd rather say scheme, you know, like make it sound good. But truth of it is, scheme doesn't mean anything if the players can't do it, and it's always about the players. I mean, the players are guys that make make the plays. A scheme might put them in position. You might get one once in a while that does. Generally, most sacks happen because of an offensive mistake or a defensive guy's ability. And Jarrell has unique ability. He has unique ability. He, he really does. Coach, what do you yeah. see from Jacobs on film? I guess aside from the obvious, he, fast. He is. That's, just, that's it right there. He breaks a lot of tackles. Uh, I don't know. There was some stat somebody told me earlier in the week because I'd I don't usually read most of those. I just guys tell me about him, but something about he's one of the top ball carriers in the league of of uh, run after contact. You know that after the first contact that he still gains a lot of yardage. I mean he's a hard, hard runner. And I know there's a lot of names around the league that sometimes are bigger names and stuff like that. But I don't think there's any better back than him. How much does a uh, kind of roll the wall touchbacks like you had last week help out the, the defense? On what now again? You know, what touchbacks when you can get touchbacks as opposed to you know teams maybe returning to get into the 30, 30. Yeah, well, field position is always a big, big part of anything on defense. I mean, you you want to start with them backed up. Um, we were good on one situation last week. We weren't as good on the other one. We ended up getting them stopped, but they gained a lot of yardage on that one series. Um, 
but it's always big when you get them backed up there and, and they aren't starting from, you know, anywhere around the 50 or inside, certainly.